we've not seen Arsenal without Saka for a while, so we don't know how they are going to do. Of course, Trossard can come in, Nketiah can come in. We don't know what's going to happen, but it's going to be an intense, intense 90 minutes for mm. them to play. So, but I'll still go for Man City Hello? because they just have the edge. Hello, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Please turn down the volume of your TV set. Okay, so uh, there's a big match coming up tomorrow. Let's look at the fixtures uh, and then uh, we'll, we'll talk predictions before we move to something different. Arsenal Man City coming up tomorrow. And um, if Kosa Emmanuel says Arsenal beat will beat Manchester City. I don't know if he's joking or if he's serious. I'm very serious about that. You know, um, Arsenal is a, is a more stronger team than Man City. How is Arsenal stronger than Man City? You know, um, the balance. You know, what, what I'm talking about, the balance, you know, um, we had a goalkeeper that was always making mistakes, you know, um, in person of Aero Ramsda. Mm -hmm. And then now we have a change of Ramsda, you know, with David Raya. And you can see the difference. You know, Raya is a more you know, uh, experienced goalkeeper than, you know, than Ramsdale. Mm. And also he has this, uh, more, he's more developed, you mm. know, and, than him. So mm. I believe that with William Saliba mm. on the mix and also Gabriel Zenchenko and also White, and also we have uh, the likes of Rice, you know, in the center of our team. I think we, we are more balanced than Manchester City right now without Kevin De Bruyne. Oh my goodness. Uh, hello, good afternoon. Are you with us? Hello, good afternoon. Okay, well, let me let me talk with uh, Omulaja. He's a Man United fan, so uh, let's stick around with your club. Man United, what's happening with your club? Uh, like I said, I think we have management issues. Mm. It, it all boils down from the board to the players. Mm. And um, as a coach, as Tenang is, is, is trying to back some of his players and at the same time is trying to push uh, some out, like the, the recent um, force with him and Jordan Sancho, mm. you know, and Anthony just coming back from the mix again with what is happening in Brazil, mm. uh, a lot of injury crisis, uh, Martinez is out, Short, Shaw is out, Reguilon is out, Amrabat is the one playing leg back, and, and we know Maguire is on and off, so, and of course, our goalkeeper, Onana. I was going to ask you about your goalkeeper, what, um, is, is, does Onana have any problem, because Man U fans, um, each time they lose, they look at the match and they blame Onana for goals. Does Onana be any fault for this Man United's fault? Uh, well, uh, I myself, I always criticize him, but then when I look at the team, the back four, uh, I don't think they have the kind of style of play that Onana brings forth to United compared to other teams that he's played. Mm. You know, using the five man defense, he could easily play and come out as a center mid. But then, um, in Manchester United, it's, it's way, way different. Maybe the second season is going to get the feel of... Mm. of All right, good afternoon. Hello. Yeah, good afternoon. Hello, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Yeah, your name? My name is Favour. All right, Favour, go ahead. Where are you calling from? I'm coming from Benoku. Okay, go ahead. You say? You, you can, you, you have the, the studio, you have the floor. What's your thought? What do you want to say? Ah, sorry, we lost that call from Inugu. So, um, so these are the matches. Luton against Tottenham is already on. Um, first half should be over now. And then there's Burnley against Chelsea. Um, um, what, what's your thought about this Chelsea team? Any hope for Chelsea fans? Uh, you know, um, Burnley is also struggling. And Chelsea is struggling. But mm. um, in the balance, I think Chelsea is much more better than Burnley right now. And um, I go with Chelsea to win Burnley. Today. What about Chelsea? What, what, what about this Pochettino <laughs> and this Chelsea setup? Uh, I, I think there's still a team in a, a phase. Uh, probably maybe mid season, he is going to get what he's looking for. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I think the match is going to go as a draw because Burnley are tone a tough more. Mm. Uh, they're actually a very difficult side and Chelsea are not really in sync at the moment mm. probably it might be a goal for one of them mm. one one new but mm. I don't see it as a high scoring game how about Everton? Everton huh. Alex will we left that club for yeah, Fulham for Fulham and I think uh, Fulham is just right above them mm. and Everton again is, is at the bottom half of the table mm. I think they just got their first win maybe last week or thereabouts mm. So them against Bournemouth, mm, I, I feel both teams are, are going evenly to... Evenly matched. Evenly matched, yeah, as we speak. So they can go either way. Okay, because I full arm against Sheffield, Man United against Brentford. Let, let me hear you about the Man United one. Um, I don't want him. Uh, <laughs> I want you to talk about Man United against Brentford here. Okay, uh, Man United, Brentford, you know, um, for me, I believe Brentford will win Manchester United. Why? Wow. 
And uh, my reason for that is because, uh, you know, banana or uh, onana mm. or banana or whatever. Hello, yeah, hello good afternoon. Good afternoon. You're there, man. Where are you calling from? From Obibo. Obibo. All right, go ahead, Emmanuel. We have something coming up from Obi for Oibo people shortly, so uh, stick around with us. So, okay, so go ahead. Okay, so I'm um, from the goalkeeper part of um, Manchester United. Mm. You know, Banana has been receiving a lot, of, you know, and um, he has been plugging a lot of Bananas, you know, from the goal post. So whatever that comes to the pole, we know it's a goal, right. you know, and um, their defense line is nothing to write about. Mm. Down to the midfield, I don't know who is there, you know, and um, the striking position. So um, I, I see... So we lost that call. Okay, time now to our friend. Um, we're, we're going to go to something different now. We'll talk about the Premier League sh shortly, but uh, there's also matches coming up tomorrow. There's Brighton against Liverpool. Yeah. But let's look at look. Um, the Obibo Oibo Games Festival started last week. Yeah. Um, let's take a look at the highlight of the last week opening ceremony. And we have the guys here. Kule is the football scout that has come all the way from Lagos, I believe, to yeah. look for players and talents in Oibo. Yeah. So let's take a look at the highlight of that um, opening ceremony of the Oibo Games Festival. Festival. It started last week. We have uh, Mr. Kosa Emmanuel, the convener of the event, with us in the house, and uh, Okule Ogunlaja with us in the house. Um, guys, uh, let me start with you, the convener. Kosa, um, so what, uh, what's happening in, in the Oyibo? Um, the, the event started last week, Sunday. So, uh, how, how many weeks are we looking at here? Um, 
the event is going to last for 14 days, like I said before. It's a 14 days project. So next week? Two weeks, yes. It's ending next week, Saturday, you know, and um, it's going to end like um, a carnival. You know, and we all travel from River State down to uh, Calabar for the Calabar Carnival. And then you can see what that does into, you know, Calabar, bringing food from every part of the world into Calabar for the, you know, for the carnival. And uh, with our new governor, you know, which is, uh, you know, His Excellency Sim Fubara, you know, while he came in, he said, is we want to bring tourism into River State at large and I want to work on tourism and now uh, this is one vision that is going to bring a mass tourism into you know River State at large you know and um, while it ends as um, actually a carnival if we want to use it as a system you know to to bring the people's culture to life okay so Kule, you're a football scout football agent um, so what are you looking for in, in Oibo let us question what are you looking for in Oibo uh, player that clicks the right boxes um, in some certain age, uh, I told Mr. Emmanuel I'm looking for players between 17 to 19 of right ages, and um, I'm just looking for the exceptional ones. So, are there matches coming up today? You're, you're looking out for are there matches coming up for, for him to? No, we, we strike from Monday, Monday at 9 a.m. at Kong Kong Field in Oibo. Mm -hmm. And um, for if you don't know Paul Ogunlaja, he won the African Agent of the Year 2023. Mm -hmm. And also, we are here with Mr. Moses, as, as you can see at the mm. back camera. You know, he is actually the one who manages Ademi in Borussia Dortmund and so many players all over the world in Europe. So they have come in here to get the best and have prepared the best from over seven states, which are lodging right now in Oibo local government. I count them there. Okay, so uh, Kunle, um, uh, you look at football in, in, in Nigeria and you look at the, what, what the problem with football in, in Nigeria in terms of scouting? Age, cheating, or? Uh, well, that that goes around uh, some continents in the world, and uh, then most of these players are still out there, probably in the slums, um, in the villages, the real talents, you know. Uh, kudos to everybody that has been playing so far, they are good, but if you are looking for the Messi and the Ronaldos, they, they probably might just be at home sipping tea. Why? Or, Why do you say that? Uh, because, uh, what would I say? Would I say exposure? or for the scouts to get to the right places to see them. Mm -hmm. Some of them might just be coming out from their homes, just playing ball yeah. in front of their homes, but they don't have the transportation That's right. to get them to the right places for them to be seen. Mm -hmm. So I've, I've made that a compulsory one that I need to go into where I can't go that is safe to try to get those talents that I've not seen. So, um, so Obi Oibo, have you been there before? No. This is your first, first time of coming there. So yes. this year you're coming there for the first time too. Yes. You're coming there for the games festival or for the scouting? For the games festival, then mainly the scouting. The scouting. So you're looking for football players? Yes. Anyway. Yeah. So okay, let, let, let's uh, we don't have enough time, but um, let, let's talk about um, what what happens today in the in the games festival in the Oibo games festival. Okay, in the games festival for today, um, by six p.m. we just have the evening show. You know, which will be happening in the venue where we have the semi finals tomorrow at St. James Fountain. You know, at Why is St. James Fountain? Just by Mbano Junction, opposite the promise, but you enter into going for the first time. Is the promise party. still functioning? Yes, it's still, in fact, it has been rebranded and restructured uh, because we have the likes of Kilimanjaro and the rest of them now in Oibo Crunches. So when they saw how beautiful those brands is, they also you know updated and upgraded their, you know, their brand. So uh, that's opposite uh, the area there. Yes. Okay, time not our friend, um, but let me put you guys on the spotlight um, on the Premier League prediction show and we'll, we'll look quickly look at the prediction time. Arsenal and Manchester City, what's your prediction? Um, Arsenal to win 3 1. Okay, for Man United and Brentford. Uh, is it, is it uh, Brentford? Yeah, yeah. Brentford. Yeah. Yes, uh, Man United to win 2 0. Man United to win 2 0. Uh, and full lap against Sheffield? Uh, 1 1. Um, Everton against Bournemouth? Um, 2 0. I go with Everton. Newcastle against West Ham. 2-1, uh, Newcastle. Crystal Palace, Nottingham Forest. 2-2. Two, two. For um, okay, so um, Luton Tottenham is still goalless. Um, and changes. It's gonna end draw. Draw. Zero, zero. Okay, thank you very much, guys, and for the guys behind the scene, thank you very much, and of course um, to our guys from Lagos and um, Kosai Mano, thank you very much. Ogulaja, thank you very much. Our friend outside there, thank you very much. And Melford, thank you very much. My name is Supriye Godwin Jada Saint Catch your keep keep scoring.